Yeah, yeah, what's happening, y'all? It's your boys, Bone Thugs and Harmony, right here in Columbus. We just got off the stage doing our thing. The Bone Boys is in the building. I'm Big Wish. You Big Flesh, man. I'm Lil' Light. Crazy Bone. Yo, y'all right here on HipTix.com. Check it out. We on here live, y'all. Big Hip Hops and Politics and HipTix.com. Get in. All the folk wants. Uh, Ian, by the way, is a staff writer for the site. He's going to be filming this. Uh, all right, all right. He's got about like four or five questions. We'll let you guys yeah. get back to so it. It's all good. It's all good. Um, you know, I guess first things first is just when this new album is coming out, you got all five of you guys together, unified. Um, you said on stage it's coming in May, but what can you tell us about the production you got on it, how the kind of the creative process was for you guys getting all back together in the studio? Um, just anything you want to let our, let our audience know? Uh, yeah. I mean, you got to look at it like, like I always say, with that question, I always tell the first and foremost, we do music from our heart. For sure. We're blessed, you know, from God and Jesus Christ and all the higher powers to do what we do to speak to the masses. And for some reason, it's a thing called longevity. You know what I'm saying? And we have that because we always give a true message and a true understanding with our music. So we love that. And as far as us getting back together, we family, you know what I mean? We brothers, cousins, and best friends. So no matter what we go through, we gonna be together because we were blessed with something. And no matter what we, how we feel about each other at one point in time, which is never really bad or wrong, it's gonna bring us together because it's a it's a bigger it's a bigger thing for us than just us. We, we have a, a, a voice and it, it, it speaks to the masses, mm -hmm. so it's bigger than us, and that draws us together no matter what. And it just puts the ice on the cake there. That's my cousin. That's his brother. That's my cousin. You know what I'm saying? And we all best friends and family. You know, speaking of longevity, I know uh, you know keeping it from the music from your heart. That's allowed you to, to maintain this long, but you know just for. The, the new MCs that are out there, our site focuses a lot on, on kind of the guys that are coming up that we feel like are going to be able to maintain for a long time. Yeah. But um, what kind of advice would you have, you know, for, for some of these long coming cats as to, not to duplicate what you've done, but just to, to maintain and actually have a career instead of coming out with a couple singles and then disappearing? Well, first of all, you know, if, you, if you've ever done anything and accomplished anything, then you will, you will automatically know that persistence is equal to success, you know what I'm saying? So just stay persistent, stay dominant at what you do, stay positive in your mind, and of course, in our eyes, keep the Lord first, you know what I'm saying? So, and it's, all, it's all in your effort, it's not so much to say, like what you say, they come out, they, they not follow somebody or try to be, mm -hmm. first of all, you doing something that you love to do, you know what I'm saying, it's coming from the heart, it doesn't matter, come out it's only two singles and they disappeared or whatever, you know, maybe it's because they didn't try hard enough, mm -hmm. maybe because they wasn't really into it, you know what I'm saying, they was just doing a hobby or whatever, they get out on late, but, you know what I'm saying, you know, we come, you know, when you're dealing with substance, you're talking about we humans, you got human conditions, you're talking about human circumstances, that's going to be here forever, that's what Bone Thugs Apartment consists of, a lot of people, they come in here and it's like mindless music, and meaningless, it's like trash, you know, so that's, yeah, that's going to be here today, going on. So, yeah, and, you know, and, and for those, you know, you know what I'm saying, that really, you know, you got to really like it. You got to have to be diligent at what you really think, think you feel you love. And that's what it's about. So, they can take that and run with that type of advice. Um, you know, I was on stage filming most of the show. Like, I, I've been to a lot of shows, I've been up close, and I, I don't think I've ever been to one where it's like that much of a, like a fun atmosphere on stage. Everyone's having a good time. You know, it's, it's, it's a family thing. Um, can you speak a little bit about how the tour has made up to this point? Um, just, you know, the reception has it been, I know we're in Ohio, this is home territory for you guys. Well, bottom line, all the shows sold out, so that makes it even much more fun. You know for sure. I mean? It's been a fun environment. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, a fun environment. Bone Thugs and Harmony rekindling they flame like we planned to do from the beginning. For sure. Um, yeah, we were talking a little bit earlier just about, yeah, it's a lot of times you talk to MCs and it's like you stay caught up in, in your work and you just perfecting your craft. It's like, you know, it's time to listen to who else is out there, but are there any um, any new guys out there that you feel you've got you've got coming out of your speakers right now that, that you can um, you, know, you can you can feel their passion for the music? Yeah, yeah, you gotta first and foremost you gotta remember that, you know, we got this business, we didn't just wanna be back on the kind of get this much best from the easy guitars. So we have record companies within our group. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we have artists that we are developing at this point right now, you know what I'm saying? We're crazy more get a third round of records. You know, it's, it's both of your seven sign, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like a lot of things we're doing, Flesh just came home. He got his own thing going too, you know what I'm saying? But in the midst of
against the wall of it, but it all means he is. We're going to keep working. We're going to elevate what we're doing to another level because we've been blessed in that sense. You know, mm -hmm. to do different and search other avenues and expand our brain. For sure. Man, you know, we like Lil Wayne, we like Drake, you know, Nicki Minaj, that whole Young Money Camp, mm -hmm. Yo Gotti, you know what I'm saying? T.I. for sure. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of cats out there, man. Jaden Kiss, you know, he's still bringing Yeah, yeah. We go to the clubs. It's, it's, it's a lot. Like, we in the club, like, nigga, I don't hear that or that. We in the club jam, you know what I'm saying? We go out. We right. Here, we do it. We, you got to remember, yeah. when we came out, we was hella young, so I'm looking at like old men. No, not at all, not at all. Wow. Right, right. <laughs> I'm saying, and like, speaking on that, um, you know, you see the, the tides of hip-hop changed through, you know, the past, you know, almost, almost two decades. Um, I guess just from a, from an industry standpoint, what has it been like to see, you know, like uh, 10 years ago there wasn't college kids with flip cams who weren't able to come back here and talk to you guys. Um, how, how has that been, you know, in an approaching like having a new album coming out, there's, it's a whole new way to promote it now. We got to look at mass media. We got the internet now. You know what I mean? Facebook, you can spread a message like that. Right. MySpace like that. All these social sites. We didn't have that back then. We had the box, we had MTV, we had BET. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So like now it's a more social world. Kids in Japan in my backyard playing on Facebook. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So like that's the main difference, man. Like it's more multimedia. It's all about branding. And back then we didn't have that. You had Ice Cube repping, you know, when he was repping and old gold and different things and making branded moves setting the pay. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So it's all about a brand and marketing move now. Man. Like the game has evolved to bump the I mean to hip hop rather was this big. Now it's global. Mm -hmm. So we sell everything. You know what I mean? So it's a lot it went it went from Atari twenty six hundred if you don't think back that far to 360 Xbox. Multiple players. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>